hand ulcer due to a hemodialysis AV fistula venous outflow obstruction. Case Summary 49-year-old male No diabetes or hypertension End-stage renal disease on regular hemodialysis for two years Left radiocephalic AV fistula constructed one year ago Left hand non-healing wound for four months Duplex Left radiocephalic AV fistula leading to the antecubital vein then an occluded venous segment and then to the basilic vein No central venous stenosis Photos of the ulcer on presentation. Yellow arrows on the left show the occluded junction between the antecubital and basilic veins. The photo on the right shows a patent subclavian vein, with a normal caliber and a central venous flow pattern, excluding central venous stenosis. Plan and disposition. Left cephalic vein access, 6 French, radial sheath. Scout images revealed an occluded junction between antecubital and basilic vein. Lesion negotiation and crossing were carried out, using an .014 inch guide wire and a Bernstein cath, then a monorail coronary balloon, 2.5 by 25 mm. Gradual dilatation was then performed using 2.5, 4 and then 8 mm balloons. No stenting was deemed necessary. The post-operative course was uneventful and showed accelerated wound healing, as shown here. So, in conclusion. Duplex vascular ultrasound is an essential diagnostic tool in the hands of the vascular specialist. Diagnosis of an AV fistula outflow obstruction might be missed if duplex evaluation is omitted in favor of CTA.